defined total factor productivity cobb douglas production function i have been answering ugc net questions for the past few years and i have come across this question when i was attempting an answer on production this needs an elaborate discussion though i have already answered this question there itself the explanation part is not as much i am going to give in this problem so whenever you come across a problem like this you may feel that it looks so complicated and cumbersome but it is not so after you listen to this lecture you will feel how easy it is to solve this problem well the problem in an economy with linear homogeneous cobb douglas production function the share of capital and labor in total output are respectively 40% and 60% the capital stock and the labor force are growing respectively at 8% and 3% per annum if the rate of growth of output is recorded as 7% per annum then the rate of growth of total factor productivity will be options are 2% 10% 4% 11% this question was asked in 2018 but more such questions appear then and there in the ugc net so i feel this is important it needs an elaborate discussion well first let us understand what is cobb douglas production function q equal to a into k power alpha l power beta then understand what each letter stands for q total output a total factor productivity k capital l labor alpha share of capital 40% it is given in the problem beta share of labor 60% it is also given in the problem it is a linear function a linear function is one in which alpha plus beta is equal to 1 the values of alpha and beta are given it is 40% the decimal value is 0.4 60% its decimal value is 0.6 the sum total is equal to 1 yes it is linear homogeneous production function okay now to solve this problem we must know the values of the rate of growth of output that is delta q by q it is given in the problem 7% delta a by a rate of growth of total factor productivity we have to calculate delta k by k rate of growth of capital 8% it is also given in the problem delta l by l rate of growth of labor 3% it is also given in the problem but unfortunately this delta q by q delta a by a delta k by k delta l by l is not explicitly given in the cobb douglas production function if we successfully find out these terms we can easily substitute them and find the answer okay we shall go to the next page as a first step to arrive at these terms let us take log on both sides of cobb douglas production function log q equal to log a plus alpha log k plus beta log l take the differential on both sides log q the differential of log q 1 by q into delta q the differential of log a 
is 1a delta a plus alpha the differentiation of log k is 1 by k delta k plus beta the differentiation of log l 1 by l delta l on simplifying we get delta q by q delta a by a plus alpha delta k by k plus beta into delta l by l but we have to find the value of delta a by a so let us take all these values to the left hand side and take the value delta q by q to the right hand side that is let us interchange the sides and solve for delta a by a it is given here delta a by a equal to delta q by q minus alpha into delta k by k minus beta into delta l by l this is the final form of the equation we are badly in need of once we know this equation or formula we can easily solve this problem my sincere advice is please make a note of it whenever you come across a problem like this there is no need for you on your part to do what all so far discussed in this problem all this elaborate discussion were done mainly for you to understand that's all so the formula the one thing that you have to keep in your mind delta a by a equal to delta q by q minus alpha delta k by k minus beta into delta l by l if you know this formula you can easily solve the problem within a few seconds now substitute the values delta a by a the value we have to find then delta q by q 7% its decimal value is 0.07 minus alpha it is 40% it is given in the problem its decimal value is 0.4 into delta k by k 8% its decimal value is 0.08 minus beta its value is 60% decimal value 0.6 into delta l by l its value is 3% its decimal value is 0.03 fine simplify 0.07 minus 0.032 minus 0.018 further simplify 0.07 minus 0.05 equal to 0.02 the final value we arrive at is in the decimal form already we have converted the percentage values into decimal form so we have to convert this decimal value into a percentage value it is 2% this is the value we are badly in need of okay rate of growth of total factor productivity is 2% this is the answer this lecture ends here we shall meet in the next video